Okay, I got it. Check it out. Excellent. Well, my ass is covered. Are you sure you are ready to do this? It could be dangerous. Yes. Are you gonna pull me into your mind like the coach did? <laughs> no offense, but it's time you saw what an organized mind looks like. Welcome to my mind. Huh. It's so empty. Uh, I mean... There's more here than meets the eye, but I've learned to keep it under strict control, and that's what I'm going to teach you. Control your feelings, your fears, your anger. You must learn to control them, focus them, concentrate them, and release them. As therapy? No, as firepower. Say something hideous and horrible jumps out at you. Something so disgusting that it simply must die. Ah, oh, it's so tacky. I can't look directly at it. But I control those feelings. Focus them, concentrate, and release. And the world is a better place. Your turn. Well done, Raz. Keep shooting. Well done, Raz. Excellent. A victory for good taste. Now you must strive for precision when targeting. Say you were set upon by multiple attackers. But you need to dispense with them in a certain order. Eliminate these monsters in the proper sequence, and we can move on to the next lesson. Again, good, again. Now then. No. Is this what you saw in your vision? Um, no. well, it sure seemed a lot bigger in my head. Ah, problems often seem larger in our heads than they really are. That's an important lesson to learn. But... This is a sensor, an integral part of any sane no. person's mind. The sensors roam through your psyche. Looking for thoughts that don't belong, hallucinations, manias, waking dreams. The sensors hunt them down and censor them out. Why do they come after me? I'm not a mania. Yes, but you are a foreign entity in my mind. You technically don't belong here. Yes, but I was attacked in my own head. Yes, well, the brain tumbler could be malfunctioning, or you could be insane. We'll test for that later. For now, <laughs> blast it. That's the spirit. I killed it. It was just a thought I was having. And it's not dead. It has just returned to its basic form. Raw psychic energy. Go absorb it. It's good for your mental health. As you absorb this energy, your mental health increases. But as you psi-blast, you expend your will to do damage. So be on the lookout for these small, dense clusters of raw psychic aggression. Absorb these as well to make sure you always have enough firepower. Now I'll leave the machine on for you, so you can practice. You have to blast 1,000 sensors to earn your marksmanship merit badge. Come back every day for practice, and you should have enough in as little as... three weeks. Three weeks? I only have a few days to earn all my merit badges and become a psychonaut. Slow and steady wins the race, my eager young friend. Now practice, slowly and carefully. Oh, man. Hmm, we're coming out faster, but still not fast enough. Uh-oh. 
Oh yeah, come to Papa. Raz, what have you done? This is not control, this is chaos. I'll try to fix it. You stay here and keep the numbers under control. Rasputin, see those valves? That is where the sensors are leaking out. Psy blast the valves to shut them down and get this area under control. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. Good. Well, you got them all. Close one leak down and another springs up. Well, come on, we've got to take care of these too.
blocked off all of Sasha's sensor outlets. I can't wait to tell him. Young man, I hope you have learned a lesson here today. Yes, I have. That shooting things is fun and useful. No, that once you lose control of your own mind, it's very hard to get it back. Yes, one's thoughts must be 100% controlled at all times. Well, no. Actually, if you try to completely suppress your undesirable feelings, they'll build and build and eventually explode. Oh, so, uh... What would happen if you were to, say, completely block off all your sensor outlets? Well, there would be a build-up of sensor energy within that would, uh, eventually... Run, Rasputin. Very fast. You are my own creation! I command you to stop! Rasputin, it's time to earn your merit badge! Excellent. You've shut down the valve so he cannot be rejuvenated. Now destroy him. So, is this where I get a speech and learn another lesson? No. Here's your merit badge. Let us never speak of this again. Okay, okay, enough about my mind. Let's stay out of my mind for a while. Let's just go back into yours, huh? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. Okay, time to face my big diving helmet spitting personal demons. That's the spirit. I need the purse tag here. I mean, where'd it go? Don't tell me I imagined that. You are my own creation. I command you to stop. Dang. Does that ever work? Oh, <laughs> 
to say that you have a very serious mental problem. The trouble originates in this area, here. The area that we in the medical profession like to refer to as the brain. You see, son, it's just no good. I hate to be so blunt, but you have the insanity of a manatee. I know. People are always saying that. What do you think's wrong with my brain, Doctor? Well, how should I know? I'm a dentist! But here's what I do know. If a tooth is bad, you pull it! But my teeth are fine. Yep! Mad brain's got to come out, boy! It's the quickest way to cure what you've got. Insanity of the mind! But I don't wanna... Sh -sh 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 -sh. Now hold still. This will only hurt until your brains come flying out. Don't worry, Dogen. I'm coming up there to save you. What is wrong, Rasputin? No time to explain, Sasha. I gotta climb the spooky Thorn Tower. <laughs> this hat box needs a hat box tag. <laughs> seeing some crazy stuff in here, Sasha. This can't be right. Ugh, why did I buy the cheap brain tumbler? Ugh, there's no way to get any higher. You must use your levitation power. I don't know how to levitate. I had no idea you were at such a remedial level. Hey! Lucky for you, we have one of the world's foremost levitators on staff. Agent Mia Vodello, the mental minx. Precisely. You'll need this oarsman's badge to reach her at the docks. I'll try to determine where this interference is coming from. Return when you've earned your levitation merit badge. There's that smell again. Hey, looks like you're ready to take on a new psychic power. Ready to come back and get your new merit badge? Yes. Alrighty then. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for telekinesis. <laughs> Can he? 
pieces. We can use our minds to grasp an object and then throw it. Go ahead, try it yourself. Come on! Grab it! Yes! Now, when you've chosen your destination, throw it! Oh, <laughs> good throw! Now, let's see if you can make it through the hoop. You sound like my dad. Hey, I've been thinking about that. Why'd that guy hate psychics so much? What do we ever do to him? Well, psychics killed his whole family. Cursed them and all their descendants to die in water. Whoa. Yeah. Talk about baggage. Tell me about it. And the weird thing is, I'm pretty sure he's actually psychic himself. Ha! Cuckoo! Well, you can work on him when you get home. For now. Oops! Thread the needle! Oh, great shot! Let's see you do that again! Bingo! Okay, last one! Through the hoop, Rasputin! Now, let me show you something. Pick that trash can up and aim your toss at the side of the caravan. The side of the caravan. Kablooey! Throwing something against a wall is a little more destructive than tossing it around on the ground, isn't it? Oh no! Another one of my senses! Now how'd that get in here? Looks like we're in luck. He doesn't see you yet. Why don't you smash him on the head with that handy trash can? Come on! Use telekinesis to pick up the trash can and throw it at that sensor. Looks like the trash took him out. <laughs> Next lesson, we'll work on your snappy one-liners. Agent Crawler? Sure, how goes the training? I'm ready to go back into the field. Okay, let's see if I remember exactly where you were. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Kruller? Drop me outside the main lodge. Oh, bring me back a burger this time, will you? to you. Hey. Oh. What is it, Vernon? Have you guys seen Dogen or Elka or Milka? We were playing hide and seek and it's actually a funny story. I said I'll count to a hundred and then... Stop! We saw them. We saw all of them. Just like five seconds ago. They were headed towards that place. The one that's so far away. The beach? No, that's too close. The woods. The really far woods. Thanks. What you doing there? We're making friendship bracelets. You know, for our friends. Hey, is that my name on that one? Not unless your name is Frankie or Kitty.
see those guys? Nope. Hmm. Find him yet? Well, I tracked Dogen into the forest, but his footprints just disappeared. Really? Yeah, and I tried to tag Elka, but she punched me. I saw Vilka run into this cave, so all I have to do now is wait. Why don't you just run in there? Never follow a snake into its hole, as that is the code of the bombers, the code of the hunter. Don't tell anyone I'm out here. Yep. Dogen, are you okay? I had the strangest machine-induced dream about you. TV? Well, first of all, Sasha Nine invited me down to his secret lab, and... TV? He's completely brainless. The dream was true. Dogen, don't worry. I know where your brains are. They're in... Like this crazy dream thorn bush straight jacket tower place. Aggie sack. You go to the TV lounge. I'm on the case. I just need a little more advanced training to prepare. Check it out, Admiral. I'm an oarsman, first class. Hey, it looks like all those weeks in the canoe simulator really paid off. Uh, yes, sir, Admiral, sir. Well, let's get you afloat. Finest of the fleet. I'll take good care of her, sir. That lake isn't as peaceful or as harmless as she looks. <laughs> now, don't take her out too far. Oh, no, you don't! Oopsie-daisy! Yes? <sighs> there she is. And there you are, darling. Don't worry, I got in contact with your father and he's going to be here tomorrow to pick you up. My father? Oh! Go to go. The race is starting. Lily! Oh. Hey, Raz. Listen, I made you something. It's kind of stupid, but... They stole Dogen's brains! No, he's just like that. I had a nightmare where this mad scientist guy said he was going to take them out, and... Was it a creepy-looking freak with a shower cap and a stainless steel three-pronged claw? Hey, that's my nightmare. So it's not just me. But how? And why all the meat? I don't know. But I think it's time I find out where this is coming from. Let's rendezvous tonight at the old boathouse for debriefing. This is so cool! Yeah! It feels like that time in True Psychic Tales 314 where... Shut up! 